offseason? Yeah, definitely giving us the momentum, and it just also just shows that there was a lot of guys who didn't fully understand the scheme. So now that we're focusing more on everybody understanding the scheme, whether you're a freshman or a senior, it gives us the opportunity to play faster. I know you like to get after the cornerback, obviously. But, uh, what do you think uh, you guys can do to kind of improve against the run a little bit? Um, you know, just playing our, playing our blocks more and getting off blocks, that's the main thing, I would say. And also just, you know, adjusting on a, on, on a run. How have you seen Miles Doran improve since last year? I know he plays behind you, but just in terms of what, what he's done. He's a, he's, a, he's a great athletic player. Um, he's a young guy, but he also has a lot of influence on the team. Um, you know, he can do things that, that I, I've never seen somebody do before. You know, jumping off the roof, catching one-handed passes from behind his head, you know, and um, just, just, just his, his, his presence on the field, you know, it, 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 he covers a lot of space, and, and most people don't know that. So he's a really good player for us, and he, he's going to do big things this upcoming year. Have yeah. you been able to get a sense of what you guys have at linebacker behind you? Um, yeah, we got some great players who are ready to come down and hit. I know that's what we have. But we also have some young guys, too, who need to learn the scheme. So, I mean, with that, we're just going to keep going forward and get, make sure everybody learns the scheme so we can play as fast as we want. Does that put more responsibility on you guys up front because those guys are kind of green and learning their way, or, or how does that work? Um, it puts yeah, it puts it puts a little more responsibility on us to make sure we holding our blocks, but it also puts more responsibility on on them so they can learn it too, so they can take some of the load off of us. You individually, um, you did some pretty nice numbers last year, all, all things considered, with what the team did. Right. What are maybe one or two points of emphasis for you personally that you're trying to improve on this spring? Uh, what my coach like to say is uh, making a layup. You know, I get there to the quarterback and, and slipping off him. I'm, I'm trying to lower that amount of miss sacks and, um, you know, just staying focused on, on my target, my keys, my footwork, and playing ball. How do you do that? Um, focus. That's how you do that. You focus. You, you stay tuned in to the scheme, understanding what you're doing, and you plan your keys. You read your keys, and you get to the ball. When they went back and broke down the film, they give you a number of sacks maybe that you should have had that you didn't? Which was um, I did that myself. They really didn't tell me that. I went back and watched film, and I it was about like six. So if you add six to what you had, you're talking right. all-conference. Yeah. And yeah. if you do that now... I mean, it just it means that it means something beyond. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to jinx myself or anything like that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I I've done, I've done the, the, the work and all that. But I, I missed a, a few, a handful of, uh, you know, sacks that, um, that I beat myself up on. But I mean, I'm coming back with a different attitude and a different mindset to get those sacks. So did you break down every snap, or was it just the missed opportunities that you went back and looked over? Uh, I went through all the games. Every game we went through, I would go back and watch the whole game. So it was every snap. And this is something you did during the season, but it, did you do it again in the off season, or when when did all this take place? This was it was I was it was during the season, and also after the season a little bit. Okay. Just last one for me. What, what would you think it'll be like? You know, you're you're the guy who'll be circled this year by the other team. Like, okay. let's keep this guy off the quarterback. Uh, be the, the focal point. Uh, how do, how do you think you'll deal with that? Um, just adjusting. I mean, if they if they game plan for me, that's great. That's just going to leave other guys open for them to make plays, and that's what we want. If more guys double team me or, or whatever they game plan for me, that's going to have us more guys, more free guys to come and make plays, and they're going to have to block either one of us. So you either block me or you block him. You know, so that's how I take it. Thank you. Um, just curious, is this your defense now? Are you the guy? Um, if that's what you say, I'm not worried about being the guy. I'm but somebody about... doesn't somebody kind of have to be like the main. Spokesperson, spokesman for the unit at some point. I'm not worried about being the guy, honestly. I mean, if you want to call me the guy, if people see me as the guy, good, I great, I take it. But I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not too worried about. Being but that's the something guy. that kind of happens naturally, it kind of evolves right. anyway, right? Exactly, Do you yeah. sense that maybe that's happening, or uh, is it yeah. too early in the spring to sort of? I mean, if people see you as a leader and you know that you have fluence, you'll obviously see it. And um, and if you're an older guy and you know you have experience on the team, you kind of educate the young guys, and that's how you, I guess, you develop as a leader. Are you seeing them kind of? A lot of them kind of look to you that way. I believe so. Yes. That's the impression I'm getting too. All right. Thanks, Simon. <laughs>